Hello everybody, you're here with Claro Beauty with your host Claudia Lara. Thank you very much for tuning in. So today is another episode of Trish Pakaboy. Um, I ordered this set, which is a lot smaller than the last one I did. What is this called? Is this a uh, spring must have collections? So it's also the lila kind of purplish, but it's very different than the usual um, notebook sort of um, sets that she sells every season. So we're going to explore with this and I'll tell you why this got me so excited. So it's the same kind of box, but it's a much smaller product. Of course, it has less product and it's less expensive. And uh, FYI, I think I prefer this set over the other one if you already have some kind of a kit of makeup. But I agree, these are sort of the basics for spring. So uh, if you're interested on this and wanna explore and play with me, this is gonna be first impressions. Please keep on watching. And please subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so. And please ring the bell on the right hand corner so you know when I upload new videos. All right, thank you very much and let's go on. So I am greeting you with nothing on, which as you know, I don't like, <laughs> but it seems that that's the norm nowadays. And yes, my hair is all over the place, excuse that. And I do play with it with my hair dryer just because I wanna see what it does. It's kind of my exploration, just bear with me. You'll get somewhere and hopefully soon. But for now, I'm just, allowing it to be kind of a hippie sort of way. <laughs> All right, so I believe in the creative process. Sometimes you need to do that. So the first thing, let's see what comes in. And I'll tell you um, the items that I was excited about and I'll tell you ones that came as a gift that I was excited about. So the first thing is what it came with the set. So obviously this little pouch, now, what do I think of this little pouch? It's very useful, it's very big, sort of a little thick, thicker than I like uh, for purse or for traveling. But uh, I guess you can't have both, right? You either go with thickness and good and durable and pretty and substantial, or you go with that little material that is almost nylon thin, uh, you know, it takes less space, etc. So you can't have both. This has a very good zipper, but I love this uh, for here. It's kind of almost as a, as a purse, you know, almost you could take. I mean, it just feels good and the color is perfect. Look, it's even matching my nails. <laughs> you know I like lilac and you know I like purple. So, hmm. all right. So what's in it? The first thing, and this I got excited about, is the perfume. You know what is interesting? The other one, the, the whole set that she sells every season, had a little pamphlet with a number of items and what they were for and how to use them. This doesn't come with that, you know, FYI. Uh, so the first thing that I got excited was the perfume essence. This one is called uh, blackberry and vanilla musk and it is number nine Trish McAvoy and I was excited about this because I think this is the one that came with the other set and I really like it I'm gonna spray it I really enjoyed it and like it I don't know if you saw my review I'll put a link right here so mm, so you know what I'm talking about I like this essence and the other set of course it was a gift so I gave it away and I give it away with the essence. So I was excited. This is the first time I was very excited because I did want it and I did want it to be with the set. So this ugh, is elegance. Maybe it was not the same as the other one because I will have to check because the other one was more fresh and every day. This one is more elegant with the uh, blackberry and the vanilla. Mm. Well, good to know. This smells elegant, sort of more mature. Spring. So I like this one too. I'm very surprised by the Trish McAvoy uh, essence. I, don't, I never expected those to be, mm, you know, something I would be about. And I actually like them because they are strong, but not super strong. They're kind of enough and all of them have this elegance and freshness and 
All right, so I'm exploring them for the very first time and I'm liking them. I'm gonna check if this is the same as the other, but I, I'm, as I smell it, I'm like, I think the other one's a tiny little bit different. All right, well, this one in particular, number nine, I like, and I did like the other one, so now I wanna know if it's the same one. All right, let's continue what else it came with and what else I was excited about. Oh. If I can, I will cut that out. And if not, excuse me for one second. So I was excited about this Essential Pencil Natural Rose. It's a pencil. I do own other ones, another one like this. This, we're gonna try it out. If anything, I'll do a short comparing it with the other one I have, but look at that color. And this perform lovely. And how easy is this to travel to put in instead of lipstick? Let me show you how it goes. It is definitely, and my lips are better, bottom, top. It does make it a little more full. It's easy because you can pencil it and fill it of course, I'm not saying anything you guys don't know already, but I'm just mentioning the things that I do love about this type of presentation versus a lipstick. It's a thick lip liner, right? But look at the color. Oh my God, I already improved. So I knew I liked her pencils. I can't believe um, I don't have it with me. I found it. All right. So what I have is Essential Pencil Nude One. And this one is the one that came in this set, which is Natural Rose. Let me swatch them. Look, I have used it. Not enough because I haven't finished it, but I have used it. So this is number one. So this is one. And this is Nude Rose, so similar. So Nude One is a little darker than the one that comes in this set, which is Natural Rose. So you could use both for spraying, or but this is a little lighter, so I can see a little more uh, rose. This has a little tiny bit, what would you say, more brown, almost the same. Yeah, this is a little bolder, a little more brown. This is a little more rosier, but really they do the same thing. But I got excited about that because I knew this was for sure a worthwhile product. So that's number two. So we have the perfume, we have the pencil, pencil lipstick. And then we have another of the reasons why I ordered this, the mascara. I was gonna buy a mascara no matter what because I gave mine to my mom. And so I knew I was in need of this. And on the gift that they gave with this purchase, there was these two items. The Gel Liner Deep Albergine, which look at that color. I got excited about this. This was a gift, it was not part of the kit, but still, I thought it would be perfection because it's not black, it's not brown, but it's sort of soft in between. I will be using this right now. This did not came with the set, but it came with a gift because of the set. So I was excited about this and I like the size because it's perfect for traveling. And then it came with the Dramatic Lash Mascara. And I was dying to try this because I was gonna buy the regular mascara. I was in between the regular mascara or this Dramatic Mascara. I've heard great things about it. Of course, it's travel size. So when I heard this will come in a gift, with the purchase of this, I said, perfection, I'm getting two <laughs> for one. And the fun of it is I'm gonna try one on one eye and one on the other, and then we can um, discover together which one would have I bought if I didn't buy this kit, right? All right. And then it came with this. Um, I'll go through it exactly what it comes again, because now I'm mixing, right? But I, I think it kind of has a, a rhyme or reason. So we have this um, 24 hours eyeshadow and liner. 
Now this I had not tried. I was not even aware of what this color looked like, but I was very curious. So this came with the set. Now I already tried this one because of course when I received it, I immediately tried it. This is it. And it looks gorgeous. Look at that. It's kind of a mink brown, but it has some rose gold. It looks gorgeous. This is a eyeliner or a shadow, 24 hours, so it stays. So um, we'll be trying it together. But this is totally worthwhile. I didn't know if it was gonna be. It was new, but I was curious. It's another reason. And then last, it came, I have not tried this. I have not opened it. I don't even know how it works. This is called Liquid Face Color. And this one is shade one, so I'm not even know if you'll match me or not. Let's do it together. You see, it comes with the brush, clean, because I haven't used it. And this, I think, twists. So let's twist together. Let me do this a little bit, because it's the first time we're gonna open it. Let's see how this comes. Okay, oh, okay. So this, oh. I keep showing it on this side, it's this side. This, oh, this, I thought this might be a little bit of concealer, corrector. No, this seems more like blush. All right, so what I'm gonna do then, well, let's do it together, might as well, right? I'm gonna apply a little bit of my corrector, Charlotte Tilbury just to cover, I hadn't done this, I would have done this if I had known that was a blush. I thought that was a, a more skin foundation, corrector, concealer, but it's not, it's a blush, okay. So I'm just gonna use this tiny bit here and there to correct. And you know what, this is about if I had opened it yesterday and knew about it, because I do have a corrector concealer that I wanna try with you all. And I could have done that. Oh shoot, all right, well that will be a different, a different video. And that is the Monica Blunder. I don't know, have you heard of this brand? So I have these samples. I'll do that next because I'm dying to try this. I've been dying to try this. This is also something that came with the purchase of this set. So those are the little fun things that make it worthwhile. So, but that will be next time. So I, as you saw, I'm not gonna put full foundation, but I did just correct a little bit here. And as you saw, this one, you're not supposed to use it all over. It's supposed to be just corrector for under eyes, but you see, I use it for everything, for a nonchalant kind of way, right? And I also wanted to apply some bronzer. And so I pull out the Chantikai Goa. The reason I pulled this out, because if you know, the summer collection came out and apparently it comes with a bronzer and with a light powder. The bronzer is not this one, it's Serena, but it is not from a limited edition. It's in there, I mean, it comes in the limited edition uh, decor or, or uh, container, but it is not a new bronzer. And so I pull out this one thinking it might be the same so I can use it, but it's not, this is Goa. I like Goa better from the two because it's less peachy orange. This is a little more brown, terracotta. And this colors definitely go a little bit better for me. Um, but now that I think about it, if I really wanted a Trish McAvoy sort of look, I think the Victoria Beckham will be closer to, um, to what Trish McAvoy usually goes for because it's a little bit more of that sort of brownish tanner sort of look. Um, it is a beautiful look. It's not the best for my tones. I can see how those tones are for most people. I mean, what I mean is most people tend to love the a little peachy, 
a little browner, a little tanner, especially if you're blonde or the little nude colors, things like that. And don't get me wrong, I try that trend and I, and I sort of pull it out, but it's not the best of my color. My coloring is more in the pinks. And I know most of you want to pull off the pinks, but you know it's not like the best coloring. You know what I mean? And so, um, so Trish McAvoy, especially the whole portfolio, you can see, like I said, I review the whole thing. It tends more on that nectarine, peachy, and it's beautiful for most people and it is the most neutral. Um, but um, yeah, for me, I like more in the pinkish. So this lip pencil, even though it's very nude, it has a little more of that pinkish area. So just FYI, very neutral. Don't get me wrong, I'll go with everybody. But it doesn't go into that nectarine light sort of, I hope you understand what I mean. <laughs> but so going back to, I got this because it's more in the terracotta brownish, not more in the orangey tan. But, um, yeah, just so you know, I think Trish McAvoy bronzer that usually comes, it goes more towards those. Anyhow, so now we can try this as a blush. Where is my, I don't know what I do with my mirror. So we're just going to try this. You might say if I'm like this with everything in my life, <laughs> uh, not so organized like I should, but no, that's not the case. The case is that right now, the time that I invest with you all is the only time I invest on this. <laughs> and so what I do is I sit and I start filming. Uh, that, and then, of course, I give it a little bit of thought overnight. I put the, the ingredients in front of me. But because I'm in the desk where all my makeup is, I figure I'll just look for it here. And you can tell. All right. Look at that. Mm, mm, mm. Love it, guys. Love it, love it, love it. One of you mentioned in my last video, you know who you are. Uh, if sometimes I wonder uh, if I just needed one of each category, what would it be? And I must say, yes, of course I wonder that. I used to only purchase that. <laughs> back on the day last five or six years I've given myself permission to just blow it up and it's been a huge collection yes you're right about that expensive one too uh, and I am planning on ramping it down a little bit maybe in an almost no by year or something like that but I'll tell you all about it on the, my um, on my update which I keep saying I'm gonna do but I will do anyhow but going back to it this sort of set is like perfect for that kind of situation. I mean, I done everything here with you. And what did I do? I mean, I cover my under eye. I uh, put a little bronzer. And uh, oh, what did I do with the brush? Ah, here. I put a little blush. I can bring this up. I put a little lip thing. The only thing I didn't include is the eyebrow pencil and the only one, the one I used today was the Give, just because it was here. I have a lot of my eyebrow pencils for some reason downstairs in my purse. Don't ask me, it's a long story. But, um, so I used this one for that reason. I didn't wanna use the Anastasia cause this is a little bolder and I'm going for a very natural look. You've been with me, you know that I like this. And so, so pretty much what I wanna to get to is that I am using what I will carry. That's it, the whole summer, why not? I mean, what am I missing here? A little bit of highlight, uh, which I would probably include the Westman Atelier Lit Up uh, or one of the Charlotte Tilbury new ones uh, or the Armani New Blotch Illuminator. That will help it tint a little more peachier and that would definitely be closer to the Trish McAvoy sort of coloring that I was talking about earlier um, but for now I'm gonna leave it like this this doesn't mean 
that I won't do a video on that topic specifically. And I actually will show you what I used to carry only on my purse, travel, everything. So it was one of each thing. And it was in a small little bag, everything in there. But right now, I mean, let's look at what I tried. I still need to do the eye pencil, but and the mascara. All right, let me do that real quick before I show you. So this is the eye pencil. Look what I'm gonna do. So a little bit up, so I can lift. Let's do the the eye lining. Right, you can just do an eye lining like that. You can use your finger if you want a little bit more diluted. You see that? Or, um, you know, accentuate a little bit, decrease. Now I'll do that with the bronzer. But what I tried the other day is put it all over my mobile lid. Look how pretty that looks. And this is so creamy and easy to apply. And then what I'm doing is kind of pushing up just so it can go up a little bit on my crease. Look at that. But this one does have a little bit of shine. So I have to be careful with what I put on my crease with shine. So I'm just gonna, because I could bring that up a little bit, but then it will be all with shine. What I prefer will be to use my bronzer, whatever that bronzer is. In this case, this Chantecai. See that? And just do the crease with a matte or no shimmer. Maybe bringing it down a little bit. Yeah. I like that. And like I said, let me see if I have the lid up here. Well, I have the mi I have the minis from Westman Atelier. Here it is. I'm going to pull out a mini because the big one is in my bathroom. Oh, I didn't open it. I didn't close it right. Ah, it flattened out. So I would just apply a little bit here, a little bit here. And if anything, a little bit in the center of my lid, maybe up here. Mm-hmm. You see that? Maybe up here. Maybe up here, a little bit on the tip of the nose. I don't necessarily like the tip of the nose thing. It doesn't really work for me, but. But you see, it will be just these items. I mean, this could be the whole summer. I'll do the other eye real quick because we have to do the mascaras. So there it is, a little bit of the bronzer just to warm up my eye. It could be just like that, look how beautiful. But I do like the shimmer that this provide and the elegance that it provides because it does provide some kind of elegance and, and put together. But look how beautiful this shine is. Ugh. This is like the perfect. And if you have like, browner eyes or tan eyes or um, you're gonna love this color right okay so what comes and we're gonna try the mascaras one-on-one -on -one, but what comes on this set then is the perfume which is lovely the mascara the eye shadow liner the lipstick and the blush face tint they call it so one two three four five so these items can really work for the full face i added a bronzer you can choose of your own i brought it a little highlight also it could be powder it can be cream and of course the foundation corrector so this will be it mm -hmm. so let's do real quick uh, the oh and the eyeliner so I can have a little darker uh, I can add this too and you'll see you'll make the whole let's add just a little bit this came in the gift but 
you can use any of your eyeliners. It's just to give it a little bit of definition. You see that little line? Of course, you can go through in between the eyelashes and the bottom, just to give it a little more definition. Oh, core charts. All right, let's do the mascara and the mascara comparison. All right, so on this eye, we're gonna do the Lash Curling Mascara Jet Black. Now, why I love this mascara is because it voluminizes, it looks gorgeous, it is black, and, uh, and it does not irritate my eyes. That's the most important. At the end of the day, it doesn't irritate my eyes at all, and it's so easy to come off. And I've just been loving this mascara. So look at that. You can see the difference between this and this. So this is just perfect. Really recommend this mascara. Now let's try the Dramatic Lash. This is supposed to be when you want a little more ramp up. And so, because this you can use with nothing on, just natural, just with the bronzer, just every day. But now let's look with the dramatic. I'm very curious. This I have not tried. And I believe she carries the um, Lash Curling Mascara and she has the Voluminizing Mascara. So this is supposed to be curling and just sort of gives that volume. But then she has the elongated one, which makes it thin and longer for sure. So this is a curling mascara. If you ask me, I probably like the elongated one. The, the yeah, the make them longer, just because I like the way that looks better than just volume and curling. But I really appreciate it, especially for every day. It's so natural. Wow. So it does, it is making the, the lashes a little thicker. Now I'm curious if you'll make them a little longer and see if this is worthwhile because one of my favorites for a full makeup look is the Dior, obviously. That's like a must have for going out or for full makeup. Oh yeah, look at that. I don't know if you could tell. Can you tell the difference? I don't know if the camera does it justice. You see how this almost looks like fake lashes close to my eyelid? These ones are a little thinner, a little more open, natural, like curious-like. These ones are a little more um, fuller. Dramatic lash. Now, is that a dramatic lash? See, it's... I like this a lot, but I do need a little more el elongating. So, I'm just applying a little bit more, but definitely makes it look full, fuller. Look at that. I don't know if you can see. I don't think it's translating. But definitely fuller dramatic so that part I agree not long enough for my taste they became short this one look a little longer and this is the curling one not the elongating one so the other one will make the eyelashes even longer which probably I prefer but I do like enjoy this one this one mm, dramatic yes fuller yes I need length why do I need length? Because I feel it makes my eye look more bigger, given that this is so hooded. Um, I like when I can see my lashes a little longer. These ones are longer. Am I going back and forth? <laughs> so final thoughts. Love, love, love the kit. I think the mascara that comes with the kit is worthwhile. Uh, I do see the dramatic on this side. Uh, but definitely not my favorite. I probably will be buying the Dior. Um, I think it's 999 or something like that for special occasions. 
but definitely this one gave me more full lashes. Dramatic. Maybe it's dramatic for every day because this I would use for every day for sure. But no, I like this one better and I like the elongating better. So that's my final thoughts. But the set all together, I love it. This thing, spring must have collections, definitely. So easy. So there you have it. Thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. If you haven't done so, please ring the bell in the right hand corner and tell me your thoughts. Are you even attempting to get to Trish McAvoy? Because I know I haven't heard much. I haven't heard much from you all. Doesn't seem you're into it. Doesn't seem you like it that much. But I have to say, mm -hmm. I don't know why, maybe it's the purple, but I've been getting into it and I love all of this. So see you soon. Bye.